Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Kanib and today I wanted to talk to you guys about a battery case that I ordered on eBay that came in on Friday. Today is Saturday and I've used it all day Friday and I used it all day Saturday. And I'm probably going to use it today. So basically, all you have to do is you just get your iPhone, take it out of its case. If you have a case, you should be using a case. I don't know why people don't use cases. And basically you just slide it, click it in this little lightning port at the bottom, put the top on, you can line up the thing, you don't want to know. here we go, and you put the top on, it's got a really nice backing on it, it's matte black, you know I love my matte black, the only thing is it's very smooth so I feel like I'm going to drop it every two seconds, one thing that I don't like about this, there's no, there's no um, bumps on the side, so if you drop this it's going to go straight in the screen and it's going to stuff it up, well my tempered glass in this case. So basically, yeah, you put it on there, this, and there's a little button, you can probably see it, I don't know if the camera's going to focus that well, there we go, and you hit it, turn on, just set. Um, yeah, so now it's charging, it hasn't got much charger on it, it only got like one blue dot as you saw, there's four blue dots once it's fully charged, obviously. It's a 4000 milliamp battery, the only thing is I did notice it only charges at one amp, which is very strange for a modern tech for modern tech. Yeah, output, yeah, 1 amp, 1.0 amp. A lot of the new chargers nowadays are 2.7, which I like, because, like, it's really fast. But, 1 amp is decent. I've, I probably got from 40% to full charge in just over, just under an hour and a bit, which is pretty decent for 1 amp, and from a bloody $6 case that I got from eBay. Yeah, this is, if, if you want a battery, like a, a portable battery, but you don't sort of want to carry a portable battery, I definitely suggest this. Don't actually use this as your case because it's not very protective. I would suggest bringing, this is my um, my knockoff vers Versus. I remember doing an unboxing of it with the little slide out. This is the greatest thing I've ever bought. And I had to buy one for the iPhone 7. I've also got a mount on that one. I bought this, I bought this car mount, my mate and I went halves in this car mount and it's like a little um, metal piece that you put and then just sort of sticks on. If you want me to guys do a video on that I will sort of like talk you through it and that I'll do like a, a video and I'll set the camera up in the car or I'll get someone else to do it. So yeah if you guys want me to do that I'll do that. I was thinking about doing it but I don't know. But yeah if you're gonna if you're gonna have one of these don't use it as your primary case. Have a second like have this as your case and then use this when it's obviously going dead because this does not have a lot of protection. Alright guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. It's just a quick little video I wanted to do. I wanted to do a video on this because it's just something to do. And everyone likes charging their phone and everyone has their phone that's always dying because they're always on it 24-7 like me. So if you're in the market for something, I'll definitely get this. I'll leave a link down below to the eBay, the eBay, the eBay link so you can guys check it out and if you want to, order it. Alright guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. And if I'm new to you, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! And you hit it, turn on just set. So... Camera decided to not autofocus.